Good evening. Today we are going to discuss about the sign conventions that is to be followed in KCL and KVL. We are using KCL and KVL for solving networks, electrical networks by using two methods that is a mesh analysis and a nodal analysis. Therefore, in order to solve the equations using mesh analysis and nodal analysis, we have to write the mesh equations and node equations of different networks. So, in writing those equations, we must be careful of assigning signs to the electrical components in the network that are mainly the battery or EM of source and the resistors in the circuit. Therefore, this uh, section we are discussing about the different sign rules to be followed that uh, for assigning signs for the different elements. The first and foremost thing that we need to be understand is that the two important things that needs to be that needs to be remembered while giving signs to the circuit elements that is the first one is a rise in potential should always considered as positive rise in potential potential should always considered as positive and the second one is a fall in potential should always considered as negative so what do you mean by a rise in potential a rise in potential means an increase in potential so we are uh, we are writing equations we are writing equations in a mesh or node in certain directions or we are moving in certain direction thus direction can be termed as a direction of action that is we are writing equations by moving in certain direction and that equation is and uh, that direction is considered as the direction of action so rise in potential and fall in potential rise in potential means they, when they, we are moving in a certain direction and from the first point to second point if there is an increase in potential if there is an increase in potential that section we have considered as there is a rise in potential and in other in some other condition we are moving from certain point to another point in a specific direction and then there is a when there is a fall in potential then we have to assign negative sign for that potential let's go through the condition in detail and these two points to be carefully remembered that is rise in potential or an increase in potential should be considered positive and fall in potential should be considered negative rise in potential that is positive and fall in potential is negative first let us discuss the case of a battery or an emf source in a circuit i can represent an emf source as this this is a consider a simple electric circuit, an EM of any sort. Let us consider a closed circuit in which a resistance R is connected across the EM source. E is and R is a resistance. So I have to write mesh equation for this one. I have to write mesh equation for this one. So this is a closed circuit and I firstly assume that there is an electric current flowing in clockwise direction I. There is an electric current flowing in clockwise direction I. So now I am going to start to write the equation for this mesh. So firstly I am moving from the firstly I am moving from the negative terminal of battery in clockwise direction. Firstly I am going to take a take an arbitrary direction and moving from the negative terminal of battery in clockwise direction again comes reaching the negative terminal of the battery and this is the direction of action I am using. So from the negative terminal of the battery I am moving and then I suddenly encountered the positive terminal of the battery. So firstly I start from the negative terminal of battery then I saw the positive terminal of the battery that is from negative to positive that means negative to positive means a lower potential point to a higher potential point therefore we encountered a rise in potential due to E therefore we encountered a rise in potential due to the source E therefore I must assign a positive side to the EM of source E. Next I am again going through the clockwise direction along the circuit. And then next I found an element resistance R across the circuit. Resistance R across the circuit. And for writing the direction of resistance R, I need to understand the direction of current flowing through the resistor. I need to understand the direction of current flowing through direction. So here I am moving or direct my direction of action is from this point to this point that is clockwise direction and I have also assumed that my current is also flowing from this point to this point. So the direction of action and direction of current are same here. So from the first point we know that current flowing from this point to this point. We always know that 
current flows from a higher potential point to lower potential point therefore current flow from this point to this point means they are of course a low fall in potential they are of course a fall in potential due to the element r therefore from this point to this point there is a fall in potential so i have to assign a negative sign to the voltage drop corresponding to resistance r that is i can represent minus i into r then again, again moves through the circuit, again moves through the circuit and I don't find any element, other element other than E and R. Then I again reach the negative potential. So this completes the mesh equation and I can write E is equal to IR. So from this simple example, we understand that a rise in potential will be considered as positive and a fall in potential will be considered as negative. So let's detail examine the conditions. First one for assigning the sign for a battery on an EMF source, EMF source, we have to, we have to, we have to depend upon the direction of action, we have to depend upon the direction of action, that is, let us consider simply a crystal connected as shown, and if the direction of action is this direction, that is the direction of action is this direction, that is from the negative or positive, negative or positive, negative to positive that is i am writing my equations in a direction from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the battery then i must assign a positive sign to the em of e then i must assign a positive sign to the em of e in some other case if there is an em of source like this m of source like this and i am writing my equations in such a way that is my direction of action is from positive towards the negative terminal my direction of action or i am writing in a direct equations in a direction from positive to negative then i must assign a negative sign to em of e these are the two conditions that needs to be considered that is let's uh, go through the, them once again if i am moving or if i am writing direct equations in a direction from negative to positive terminal that is there of course a rise in potential that is i must assign a sign positive to the em of source e and in some other case if i am writing the equations from positive to negative terminal of the battery or my direction of action while i am writing the equations is from positive to negative terminal of the battery then my there is a fall in potential that is first is positive second is negative so there is a fall in potential and i must assign a negative sign to the em of source e therefore for writing the direction of direction of em of source depend upon only that only the direction of action direction of action it depends upon only the direction of action that is the direction in which we are writing the equation let us consider the case of second case that is a case of a resistor resistor let us consider a resistor r as shown this is a resistor r and a current i is flowing through the resistor in this direction and let's say current i is flowing through the resistor in towards the right side towards the right side or in clockwise direction and i am writing my equations and i am writing my equations also in the same direction that is there is a resistor r current i is flowing through resistance from left side to right side or in clockwise direction and my direction of action direction of action is also in the same direction that is i am writing the mesh equation or node equation the same direction of the flow of current then i must assign a negative sign to the drop then i must assign a negative sign to the voltage drop then i must assign a negative sign to the voltage drop because we know that current flows from a higher potential point to lower potential point and current flows from this point to this point and there is a fall in potential and i am moving to uh, along with the fall in potential and therefore the sign must be negative minus vr another case let us consider another example is a resistor R and a current I is flowing in this direction. Resistor R current is flowing in this direction. And I am writing my mesh equation or node equation in this direction. That is my direction of action is opposite to the direction of current. Direction of action is opposite to direction of current. Then what happens? I am moving from a I am moving from a lower potential point to higher potential point that is electric current flows from a higher potential point to this point when current is flowing from this point to this point so this point is higher potential point this point is lower potential point and i am moving from a lower potential point to higher potential point that is i am writing my equations from in this direction in this direction that is from lower potential point to higher potential point 
therefore and there is a rise in potential and i must assign a positive sign to the drop vr then i must assign a positive sign to the drop vr these are these are the basic conditions i must follow while assigning signs to the elements im of source and resistors in simple electric circuit for solving so from this we, can, we, we let us conclude that the direction of em of source direction of em of source depend only on the direction of action that is in the direction we are writing the equation depends only on the direction of action whereas for a resistor we have to consider the direction of current and direction of action that is if the direction of current and direction of action are in the same direction then we have to assign a negative sign to the voltage drop or if the direction of current is opposite to the direction of action we have to assign a positive sign to the voltage drop let us consider a simple example let us consider a simple example for solving this this is a simple electric circuit consist of two voltage source and five volt 10 volt and five volt 10 ohm resistor and eight ohm resistor i assume that a current i is flowing in the clockwise direction then i am going to write equations also in the clockwise direction let me see Okay, I am going to write the equations in clockwise direction and from the I, am, I will start from the negative terminal of the 10 volt battery I move to in the closity direction and according to the sign convention I move from a I, the direction uh, my direction of action is clockwise direction I move from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the EM of source and from the sign convention it is clear that uh, while we are uh, writing the direction for an EMS source, it depends only on the direction of action. That is our direction in which we are writing the equation. So, I move from a lower potential point to higher potential point. Therefore, I assign a positive sign for the EMS source. That is 10. And as, um, while I move along along the circuit in clockwise direction, the next element I encountered is my next element I encountered is the 10 ohm resistor. And from the 10 ohm resistor, I have already assumed that current is flowing from this point to this point. And my direction of action is also in the clockwise direction. So my direction of action and the direction of flow of current is same. So I must assign a negative drain to the voltage drop that is 10i. My voltage drop according to Ohm's law is i into r that is 10i. Again I encountered another resistor 8 ohm. Here also the condition is same. The direction of action and direction of flow of current is same. So I must assign a negative sign to the voltage drop that is 8i. And then I move along the circuit. I have found another battery source that is 5 volt. And in this case, I only want to consider the direction of action and not the direction of current. For my direction of action is in this direction. My direction of action is in this direction. So, I am moving from a positive terminal to a negative terminal. Or I can consider it as from a higher potential point to lower potential point. So, there is a higher potential point to lower potential means there is a fall in potential. So, according to the sign convention, I must assign a positive sign sorry negative sign to the i must assign a negative sign to the em source that is minus 5 then i move then I'm minus 5 this is the condition and then i move along the circuit and i have found no other elements and so it completes the mass equation that is equal to 0 that is 10 minus 10 i minus 8 i minus 5 is equal to 0 this is the mass equation corresponding to the simple electrical circuit sh shown so in this way we can assign the signs of the we can assign the signs of the elements that is a battery and resistor. So once again we move through the two, two points that needs to be considered. The first one is the rise in potential should be considered as positive, fall in potential should be considered as negative. And the next for first for EM of source, if the right it, it, the direction of the EMM direct the sign of the EM of source depends only on the direction of action or the direction in which we are writing the equation. That is, if we are moving from the positive to negative direction, there is a fall in potential and we must assign a negative sign. And if we are moving from positive to negative neg sorry, negative to positive direction, there is a rise in potential, and then we must assign a negative direction to the emf next in case of a resistor we have to consider both the direction of action and direction of flow of current and if the direction of flow of direction of action is same as that of the direction of flow of current then we must assign a negative sign to the voltage drop and if the direction of action and direction of current are opposite then we must assign a positive sign to the voltage drop these are the different conditions needs to be considered while writing the mesh equations and node equations for solving electrical circuits. Thank you.